Hi, welcome back. We are at the orchard and we are picking our own fruit. Right now we are going to get some peaches, so come along with us. We got our peaches, now we are headed to get raspberries, blueberries, and some sunflowers. Michigan has such diverse agriculture. This is a favorite orchard of ours. We come here every year, most years, multiple times. As the fruit variety ripens at different times of the year, it's always fun to come check out what's new. It's a bit of a drive, but that adds in the fun. I always enjoyed doing this as a kid and I'm so happy my kids enjoy it too. They love to pick their own fruit and I love to make jams and bake with all of it. There is just something about fresh picked fruit. The flavor and colors are so much brighter and better. Any idea what this is? I'm assuming it's a pest deterrent, like a companion plant. We've seen these all throughout the raspberries. This is the fall raspberry crop and it's pretty light picking this time. If you're new here, my name is Jenny. I'm a wife and mom of three, and we live in Michigan. It would mean the world to me if you'd hit that subscribe button. Do you have you pick farms or orchards near you? If so, what is your favorite thing to pick? We had to wear masks in crowded outdoor areas and the orchard had social distancing barriers in place. But we got to the orchard pretty early so it wasn't terribly busy. All right, here is everything we got from the orchard. We got half a pound of raspberries, a pound and a half of blueberries, some green pepper jelly, some peach butter, apple cider, and cinnamon donuts. Cannot go to the orchard without getting apple cider and cinnamon donuts. Some candy sticks, a peck of peaches, and a whole bucket of sunflowers. I'm pretty sure we picked the hottest day of the year to go to the orchard. But now that we're back, let me show you my favorite way to use fresh peaches. This is an old-fashioned peach cobbler.
I'm making this cobbler more rustic by leaving the skin on, but you could totally peel them first. This recipe is a crowd-pleasing favorite. One of my favorite things to do is pull out my mom's cookbooks or look up old-fashioned recipes. I love the nostalgia of simpler times and good cooking. My mom passed away a few years ago and I really miss being able to cook and bake with her. We would always have something to talk about and end up with those deep belly laughs. I remember being little and climbing up on a chair to watch what she was doing. I'd watch in awe as she would cook, not seeming to measure anything but always knowing just the right amount to add. I kind of cook the same way now, except for baking. That's a science I don't want to mess with. <laughs> This is good, served any way you like. I like to serve this warm with vanilla ice cream. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.